Good everyone, my name is Kaden Mazokere. I'd like to welcome you to my show. Right, uh, in this episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a portfolio which is worth 650000 and uh, just show you week on week how it has been growing. Um, and so the biggest part of it is on the JSE. And yes, uh, let's get down to everything and, and show you how it is. All right, um, to start with, uh, if you can see here, let me show you. All right, so this is my name here, Mr. C. Mazokere. You see that? And uh, if you want to check the date, you can look down there. So this was the 17th of April. Yes, March, April. Yes, 17th of April, 2020. Uh, this was during uh, lockdown already. Okay, so I took a screenshot of this one. Now, as you can see, I had three companies. Um, okay, this one is an ETF. It's uh, Signia J, uh, Japan. And this one is MCZ. It's a mining company and AEE. Okay, I, I, I'm not sure what's going on with this negative uh, cash. I'm not, I, I can't rem remember exactly what happened, why it was saying negative. So the total portfolio on this day was 21,000. Right, so you see 1704. Right, then uh, I deposited some funds. As you can see on this day, it was now 15,000 in, uh, and uh, the total portfolio had 56,000. And I added Steinoff, as you can see. Right. Um, so I had a profit of 399. And so these two were running in losses. So this one here had a profit. So I, I want to assume that I then sold it because that's what I normally do. Okay. Then uh, moving on to the next slide. Uh, this was now on the 20th. So this is just three days later. The portfolio had 60,000. So it wasn't like it's growing mainly because um, because of stock appreciation or something. Uh, it was growing mainly because of uh, me depositing more funds. All right. As you can see, I added two companies and then I sold the one that had a profit. So I made a profit. And um, so I added these two here, MTN and CAP. And uh, if I'm looking at today, uh, okay, no, I don't want to, to, to go and search online to see what the current prices are. But the ones that I can see close by that I remember in my head right now, I'll probably say them. For instance, uh, staying off today is trading at 149. It closed at 149. It went up tremendously by 15% today. Right, so it would have been an opportunity if one was owning Steinoff. And I was thinking of buying it like a week ago when it was around 100 rand. Uh, 100 cents, so that is 1 rand. And now it's 1 rand 49. That means it would have been a lot of profit. And I regret not buying it at 1 rand. Okay, moving on to the next day or to the next week or something like that. Yes, um, it then went up to 69,000. And this 69,000, you see, it's still the same companies. Uh, nothing much has happened. So this one was happening due to stock appreciation. Uh, moving on to the next uh, day. This was now on the 21st. Okay, at first, uh, eventually I'm going to show week on week. But for now... I'm just showing you what was happening like on a daily basis. All right, so the loss is getting bigger, but uh, the portfolio is getting bigger as well as more funds were being added to the portfolio. So this was 90,000 at this, at this point in time. Moving on to the next day. Um, oh, I, I could also explain a couple of other things. Okay, here it was now 94. And uh, it was mainly due to Steinoff. You see, it went up by 17% on this day. So this is daily movement. What you see here, this one went down, up, up. This one, no movement. And uh, so because of this jump by Steinoff, um, 
the 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 big loss has now gone down okay and uh, if if we look at this number of shares twenty six thousand uh let's let's let me just uh, take out my calculator quickly uh it was twenty six thousand three hundred and forty four shares multiplied by two days which is one rand forty nine uh, that would have been 39,000. So this 34,000 would be 39,000 looking at today's value. So it goes to say also, uh, if, if, if you hold for a long time, yes, you are going to see ups and downs. Like I'm saying, about a week ago, it was trading at one rand. And now it's you see here it was 130. So if you would be looking at um, that, you would see a loss. But just keep holding um about a, a week or two later it would amount to 39000 uh you see if i didn't sell steinoff i want you to see where i would be today as we proceed all right then uh an introduction sasol and uh okay this one no it's not an introduction it has been there but the portfolio here had gone up to 107 uh, and as you can see here, the loss got bigger. So why is it going up? Mainly it's the cash that was deposited. And then moving on to the next slide, uh, we see here it was now the 23rd of April. So it's just a few days, uh, but there, was, um, there were deposits that I was making uh, during this time. Uh, and and that's why it was growing so fast so it wasn't mainly because of stock appreciation or something like that and then yes you have good days there could be reasons for that uh, i'm not sure what was the reason here but yes you see here two three three eight and one percent so they've been going up and looking at today's value let me I, i'll keep using steinoff as a reference okay so it's 42,000 shares, 656. So 42,656 times 1 rand 49. So today, this 52,000 would have been worth 63,000. Okay, that would have been huge, 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 huge. So you see, keeping, uh, just knowing that uh, it's going to change, it's a, it's, a, it's a very good way of looking at things. Okay, moving on to the next slide. Uh, just because things have been going bad, uh, like you see, if you check the previous slide, Steinhoff was at 122. And here it shows it's now at 113. So what was going on here was I was trying to, I, I sold everything else and then I bought, and I bought Steinhoff. I was trying to um, average down. I, I, I kept chasing the stock, uh, but it's very, very dangerous because if Steinoff would have gone like uh, delisted, uh, that would have me meant I was going to just lose this 165. But it's it wasn't delisted. Had I known that fast forward uh, to today, uh, the stock price will go up to one. 49 if one would have would have that uh what do you call it that discipline to hold on to something that you believe is going to go up of course the risk is way too big but let's have a look Hundred and forty thousand shares uh being sold at one rand 49 this would have been two hundred and eight thousand okay so it would have gone up from you see this loss would have gone down up until it levels out and then it goes up to 208000 but this wasn't the end i kept buying steinoff at this point in time it was 168550 had i kept that it now would have been worth let's see 251000 251 so that would have been big 
if I had known that this is what's going to happen. But anyway, you never know what, what happens because I've learned a lot. Right now, my portfolio is way diversified because I've had companies that I've put a lot of money in and then they get delisted. Like two companies got delisted and it killed me a lot. Okay, so here the portfolio is worth 187000 And yes, um, you know, had I kept these it would have been worth 251000 Then I decided to add, and PPC is one, one other company that if I look at today's value of PPC, today PPC went down by 5%, but it's worth 160. So let's have a look. I'm going to use, uh, okay, so for, let's see. For Steinhoff, 160. 8,000, wait, wait, 168,550 times 1 rand 49, that would give 200, where is my mouse? That would give 251,000. Okay, I'll just end there. Then with PPC, 12,900 shares times 1 rand 60, that would be 20,000. Okay, add the two, that will be 271,000. Just these two. But here, how much were they worth? 205,000. And this is what I was talking about. You see, Pumelena, uh, I had invested, it's actually 25,000. You see, because it's 16,000, which is the value of Pumelela at uh, 28 rand. No, no, at 41 rand. Because uh, I bought this at 65, it went down to 49, to 41, and that gave me a loss of 9,000. So this 9,000 plus this 16,000, it shows I had invested 25,000. So just because Pumelela got delisted, I lost 25,000, just like that. So it's very, very painful. But let me say, what if I had just uh, held you know, PPC and Steinhoff. And from that day on, I don't add anything. I don't subtract anything. I just buy other stocks. What would have happened? It, this 205 would be worth 271 today. And uh, in case you're wondering what is today, today is the 25th of January, 2021. So it's less than a year later. But that is what would be going on. Okay, moving on to the next slide. I then, uh, I, I noticed that, okay, these stocks are, uh, are, are risky. So I decided to start uh, including ETFs. So I bought this finance ETF, which has all the big banks in uh, South Africa, uh, the likes of FNB, uh, you know, NetBank, and so on, APSA. And uh, it was a lesson from this delisting. Okay, so um, I also added some uh, PPC shares. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'll continue doing some calculations. So the 29,500 shares times 1 rent 60, that would be 47,000. 47,000. And that one was 251,000. That would mean 892. So this portfolio here, 892 plus this uh, 3,000, that would mean 300,000. So this portfolio, which is worth 221, if I had kept PPC and Steinhoff, it would mean this whole portfolio would be worth 300,000 without doing anything else. Just keep it like this and, you know, and move on to something else, let's say, and just pretend this money is lost. Uh, I'm just trying to show the fact that, uh, you know, if you were to just live it, you know, sometimes you make some adjustments that you don't need to make uh, because there are other mistakes that I made uh, ahead. So yeah, let's have a look. Okay. Just because I'm now being scared, I, I reduced. Oh, but I think, uh, let me see. 
I think I didn't just sell Steinoff for the sake of selling it. I think uh, some of the shares had gone up. Yes, I remember that is what happened. For instance, I, I looked at some of those shares that I bought when it had gone down to, let's say, 102 and something like that. And I sold them at a slightly higher price, let's say 112, 113. Yes, that's exactly what happened. Uh, so what the effect of that is, um, yes, I, I then had less shares. And uh, yes, my, 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 my loss was this big at that time. And I decided to add one, two, three, and four companies. Okay, two ETFs, two individual stocks just to try and diversify because this had given me that fright. So I was frightened. And so I decided to, you know, do something about it. But if you look at the overall loss, it was 45,000. So this happens, but it's not something that I normally panic about because fast forward to today, all these companies, uh, okay, some, if not all of them, have gone up they are not where they are where you see right now so you know you always have to just uh trust the process and know that this is what happens okay moving on uh the portfolio is now worth 284 and uh the loss has gone down only two companies are in profit these two it was the etfs and the rest you know you see these brackets so they represent a loss. All right. So the rest, this is what was happening. All right. Moving on. Okay. Here, it was just a screenshot that I took, which shows, uh, okay, this is what really happened. Um, I was growing my portfolio uh, beginning of 2020. And so, yes, I was slowly building it. Uh, I was also building my delivery business so i wasn't putting a lot of money in shares so as i was so you can see steadily it was going up going up then when the lockdown was announced uh, i decided to sell everything and i stayed out of the market for quite some time probably this is what two three weeks then i came back i kept that up until a certain day when it just went up and then from that day uh, deposits were made and so on so this shows up until around may june maybe you see it had gone up this if i'm not mistaken was around 80k and this here is around 250k yes it's what you were seeing on the previous slide so i just took a screenshot on this day somewhere around june uh, just to show uh, the movement that had happened uh, during that time. All right, so moving on to the next thing. Uh, I, then, I then found an opportunity to sell Steinoff. As you can see here, the price had gone up. So I sold Steinoff at a profit. After doing that, I then started buying ETFs. So at this time, the portfolio then was 350,000. Okay, and I was so happy because number one, the loss was smaller because if you check before this, it, it had gone big. And so instead of moving up, it really helped me get rid because what I had seen on PPC was that if you don't, uh, if, if you keep, it's more like putting all your eggs in one basket. Uh, if something like PPC's thing, uh, not PPC, Pumelela, if something like that was to happen and it's the only company you have, that's the end of it. But let's say Steinoff was to go to be delisted, I can only lose 15,000. You see that? Instead of losing a whole chunk of money. So I decided to sort of diversify uh, and so I started buying ETFs. But there's something that I realized with these ETFs. Okay, let's see. Here it then was now 427. And uh, okay, I can only see up to this. Uh, everything else that is up there, I don't see. 
but some losses began you know they came and uh, 16,000 but the biggest loss was coming due to the fact that Pumelela is still up there it's still there so you know yeah then moving on to the next slide you see it had gone up to 450 and the loss had shrunk had gone down as well as you can see and all these were now in a profit position and it was a very good thing okay moving on to the next one oh here um oh so 450 was uh the highest then here what i did was i I then started to diversify. I noticed that if if I just put all my money on the JSE, uh, I'm sort of it's sort of opportunity cost for me. What about those other, you know, companies outside can, uh, South Africa? So I opened IQ Options, and I made a deposit of roughly two thousand five hundred rand uh, US dollars. As you can see here, it's 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 me here, but uh, I'll show you just now. So what I tried to do, I, I bought some American ETFs like this one here, this one here, this one here, uh, you know, and then I bought some individual stocks on, uh, you see here, McDonald's here, this is Google. I also bought Apple, I bought Amazon, I bought Uber, I bought, uh, you know, I just, I was buying the bigger ones in America, but I didn't put too much money because this one is a leveraged uh, account. So, you know, you know, you know what happens if you put too much money and I, I chose the, the, the smallest leverage I could find, which was one, which was times three. So what it means here is, um, I have invested $30 and so thirty dollars times three, yes, that's what it meant. Um, so thirty dollars times three, the the times three, that's the leverage that I'm getting. You know, because uh, you see forex trading, people use leverage, and um, the the leverage is good if whatever it is that you bought uh, goes the direction you want. For instance, with this kind of uh, thing, you can short sell. Or you can go long going long that means buying short selling that means selling so you can go short or long so what happens is if you if you put let's say thirty dollars and then it's times hundred that means it's it's more like you have put three thousand dollars and so you can buy whatever it is that someone with three thousand dollars cash can buy because you are using that leverage the, the upside is if whatever it is that you bought goes up, you make a lot of profits. But if it goes down, you make you lose you, you tend to lose your whole thirty dollars. That's how people always say, I blew my account, I blew my account. So for me, um I was actually looking for an account which doesn't have leverage at all because I didn't want to use that leverage because I know uh, it's more like to me weapons of mass destruction if it goes up yes you make a lot of money you can become a millionaire overnight but the the, the downside is this whole 2500 you could just lose it just like that so i had to choose the the, the smallest leverage i could find which was three so it was just times three so thirty dollars would be ninety dollars so the the effect on an account like this was not as big so that's what i decided to do so yes i i opened this iq option account and um yes you see this is real and here it was valued at 2500 now look at the time it was 2108 uh like that right okay uh yes uh, you see apple tesla facebook and so on so you, like I was saying, you can either buy or sell. Okay, so on the same day, because uh, I remember it went up, yes. Now it's valued at 2.8. And uh, you see these positives that you see here. Uh, if you check back there, 
there were still negatives and so on. But they, there's something down there that had gone up or something like that. And the, the other thing is, it will be estimating, um, I, I can't remember, like one other thing that can make this money go up and you wonder why is it going up that fast? Uh, it's the exchange rate. So this is in USD. So yeah, that is what was going on. And then moving on to the next thing, I then decided also to diversify and bought Bitcoin. As you can see, so I opened a Vala account, uh, which I still have. And so the total value of my Bitcoin was at this time 52,000 and uh, at this time I think one Bitcoin was 170 um, and so looking at today's value I think Bitcoin is today is 500,000 okay so let me let me just do some calculations here uh, so available Bitcoin is 0 0.29 uh, 4919 Five one times five hundred. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. Five hundred thousand. Yes, I am. This fifty two thousand would be worth hundred and forty seven thousand. Uh, that that's what it means. Uh, I, I'm I'm not sure if my calculation is hundred percent correct, but yes. Uh, just if you want to check with me. Just check uh, how much is 0 0.29 Bitcoin in today's currency and see the value of that. But from what I got here, it shows 147,000. Uh, it, it will be surprising if it's that because I would expect it to be more than that. All right. But yeah, no, it wouldn't be surprising because 170 and 500. Yeah, it's, it's, it's possible. So I'm sure my calculation is correct yes it should be okay to confirm to check 0 0.29 uh 49 times 170 thousand it gives me 50 thousand so yes that's correct it is correct so 147 thousand rands today the value of this bitcoin here all right so that's also how i diversified and then I also opened because that time I was waiting for my net bank account to be uh, to be opened. And so I also opened this one and I started with uh, 5,000. Yes, 5,000 something, something somewhere there. And then I, oh, here it doesn't show what I bought, but whatever it is that I had bought, I, I can't remember what it was, but it's going to show just now. It had gone up on that day by 2%. And so I'd made a profit of um, 61 Rand. So the daily movement was 140. So that means prior to that, uh, I, I, I was down, something like that. All right, moving on to the next. Yes, here it shows what I had bought. Okay, but here I had I added some funds also. So I put 89,000. Uh, and and so at this time I was down two thousand, but if you look at today's, you you can check the prices today. Uh, see these number of shares. For instance, today, uh, if 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 I'm talking about companies that, okay, here Steinoff today, you see here it's ninety five. Uh, today it's one forty nine. Okay, um, RMH. Uh, let me see. Naspas three thousand seven hundred. Where is Naspas? Yes, here it was three thousand one hundred. Today Naspas closed at three thousand seven hundred and eighty something, and eighty seven. You see, uh, what else do I see here? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Capitec. Wow, Capitec. Do I have it here? No. But yeah, you can check these stocks. You'll see that. Uh, this was the 16th of July, but today's value, it shows a loss here, but just knowing that this loss is temporary is one thing that I recommend. Uh, don't panic when things go down like this. Uh, just, just 
keep the faith because uh, if your portfolio is diversified, it's true. Uh, one of these could just go down drastically one day. But if you don't have too much money invested in that, uh, you, you are not going to uh, suffer a lot. Okay, moving on to this, you see, then I added. So do you notice what I do? Even when I'm, I'm seeing losses and all that, I keep putting money because I believe in the process. I know what's going to happen. So in the long run, uh, the, the portfolio, the, the, the goal is to keep buying them, keep buying them and try not to sell. I think I'm going to make a video after this one, but it's probably going to take a long, a long time for me to finish preparing the slides. The reason I'm saying this is because, uh, look, I want to make a video uh, that video, I want to, uh, what do you call it? I want to see if I didn't sell any of the stocks I ever bought, how much would they be worth today? So I want to try and make that video. It would probably take me three days to prepare the slides because I started buying these shares around about 2012, somewhere there. Um, and I'm not sure if all the information will still be on my uh, account but i'll try to go and check and see if i can find it like um i'll, I'll use the broker notes uh, to try and see if i never sold any of the stocks i ever bought how much would they be worth today that would be way over what i have today okay so if you put everything together uh you saw at that time the highest was four hundred and fifty one thousand for APSA, uh, the highest for, uh, what is that? The highest for the US dollar, the IQ option was around 50,000 cause that was uh, 2,500 somewhere there, 2.8. That's the highest, it was, so it's around 50,000. Then uh, here, the, uh, the, the net bank one, it's 100,000. Okay, let me put thousand, thousand and thousand. And then the Bitcoin was also 52,000. Okay, so, but looking at today's value, it's obviously different. So let's see, that would be three, that would be five, that would be five. No, 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 let me see, five, 10, 15, okay, so that would be six. So this is a 653,000 portfolio, looking at what you see, but, I didn't calculate with today's value. That would have been a big, big move. All right. Thank you so much. Um, if you want to see more of such, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll keep, uh, you know, educating uh, as far as I can. I know a lot of people, like there's so much information about the New York Stock Exchange shares in America and so on. But... You know, people in South Africa want to know uh, how is the how does this JSE work? So you know, there are so many people who are participating on the JSE, but not so many would like to come up and share the information. So uh, I'm I'm glad I'm doing what I have to do. I think uh, by so doing, I'm helping a lot of people, and you know, if you find this valuable please like and subscribe. And one of the things I'll keep saying is what my mentor said. He said, um, if, if, if you want to get anything you want, you must help enough people. Okay, so for you to get whatever it is that you want, you have to help enough people. So my approach is, there are so many people who need help out there. So if I want to get anything that I want in life, I just have to help more people so help me help other people share like subscribe and uh you know uh, put a comment down below if there's something you want to suggest yes just say it and then we can see how we take it from there uh thank you so much